All right, so what I want to explain here is kind of um, from a high level point of view, how should you understand zero knowledge proofs or these, these ZK snarks or you know more general purpose zero knowledge proofs. So one of the common examples um, is to, to take a Sudoku and hopefully you know what a Sudoku is. It's this sort of square with you know numbers and like what, whatever, you know, um, and take a Sudoku problem, right? So there are some entries missing and give it to a program and this program will verify a solution. Let's, let's call that Sudoku uh, Verif. And so if you give it a solution, um, and I don't know, here it's a one, here it's two, three, two, uh, zero is not a thing actually, nine, whatever. Uh, this will pretty much tell you uh, true or false. It's really, just imagine a program on your computer that maybe you could write and that uh, given a problem um, and a solution tells you if it's a correct solution or not. And the idea is that with zero knowledge uh, proofs like ZK Snarks um, systems, we can translate this, this whole thing really uh, and the execution of that program into uh, uh, some sort of execution transcript. And so here, think of an execution transcript kind of like a, you're, you're running a program on an actual circuit and you're measuring what it's doing and, and what uh, what values it's taking, all the intermediary va values, and, and so on. And what you end up is something w where you have uh, the problem, uh, you know, the solution, the inputs, you have true or false at the end, and here you have like a bunch of intermediate values. And a zero knowledge proofs here, or ZK snark, will allow you to remove some stuff. So you don't want to remove the problem, but you might want to remove the solution. Uh, and also intermediary values that might leak the solution. And at the end, you're only left with the output, which has to be true, and uh, the problem. And I can give you this, and you can verify that indeed uh, with that problem uh, and some solution that you don't know and some, you know, the execution, the correct execution of that program that you know, you know the program, um, you do get that, that solution, that, that, that it's true and the solution verifies the, solve the problem. You could, in theory, you know, remove the, the problem or you could even remove the, the, the output of the, the program, but it's not very useful. It doesn't really become useful. So that's kind of what I want to, to explain here is that from sort of any program, but let's say like some constraint program, like, like a Sudoku verification, that's fine. Uh, that takes some inputs. Oops, I'm deleting things here. That takes some inputs here and gives some outputs. We can record the correct execution of the program and prove to anyone that um, that program executed correctly, even though we're masking some of the some of the inputs or outputs or intermedi intermediary values. And so, you know, from there the sky is the limit, and you can build all sorts of uh, systems that rely on these proofs uh, to prove different types of things. Uh, ready. Your imagina imagination here will uh, will find all sorts of use case uh, when, when you start thinking about it. Uh, but that's pretty much what a zero knowledge proof is and, and, and how you're supposed to think about it.